in this chapter we are going to discuss um, all the three things all the three excretory products uh, but mainly uh, we will uh, although we are, we will discuss all the three organs uh, of ex uh, that are involved in the excretion but mainly we will focus on the one most prominent organ that is kidney okay so excretion if uh, in terms of definition if i would uh, like you to write uh, or define excretion so excretion is basically the removal of waste products from the body waste products waste material or toxic you can use the word toxic okay like the thing which is harmful for us you can write the word material and you can even use the word substance okay now uh, what are the organs that are involved if uh, like which are the organs that are involved in the excretion uh, but before that if i would say you to understand that what are the excretory products so one and the foremost is the urea okay so urea is the one of the important uh, excretory uh, product that is uh, if it is it remains in our body so it is harmful for our cells then the second thing that is uh, important for us uh, like to be excreted out is the carbon dioxide and if we talk about the third thing so that is as you said bilirubin that is a, a bile pigment excretory product of the bile okay so these are uh, the things that need to be excreted out but besides all of these three things there are certain like uh, so, uh, in the form of sweat like there are certain salt or uh, which are toxic for us they are also being excreted out so which organs like which organs perform this task so the organs involved like which uh, the organs which are involved in the excretion of these elements so if we talk about the urea so uh, which organ excretes the urea miss the bladder and the um urethra yeah uh, but urea is mainly expelled out from uh, during ejection okay in the feces so feces are mainly uh, rich in the urea but anyhow the three organs that are like involved in the excretion that are mentioned in your book and if it is asked you to define or write the names of three excretory organs so simply you can write liver okay liver is the main excretory organ then lungs okay liver is excreting out or metabolizing the urea uh, because liver is involved in metabolism of so many substances like urea is the end product of uh, basically the protein digestion okay so uh, if you remember that i have told you that protein has a uh, uh, what is the structure of uh, protein protein has a central carbon then it has a carboxylic group then it has an h3 amine group and then a r group okay so this is the basic um, backbone or basic structure of a protein so if you see that this amine group is present in the protein okay this is the amine group so when protein is being metabolized okay protein is being digested any protein whatever the protein it is it is being digested it is being uh, metabolized so the end product of the protein cycle or the protein digestion is the urea uh, and it is the waste product then we have uh, the and it all occurs in the liver okay and if we talk about the bilirubin so bilirubin also like 
uh, uh, I told you that when RBCs have a life uh, uh, shelf life of RB uh, RBCs contains hmm? this RBCs have a life of one twenty days. Yeah, so red blood cells contains the pigment hemoglobin. Okay. And hemoglobin is uh, composed of different uh, things like uh, it has the heme factor, then it has uh, the iron in it, then uh, different things. Okay. So when this uh, red blood cells after completing its 120 days, okay, so it degrades, okay, it degrades and it is degraded into uh, it is broken down into its iron is removed and it is broken down into blue rubin and blue verdin and different kinds of um, these kind of substances bile uh, pigments. So after the uh, breakdown of uh, this uh, red blood cells and breakdown of iron, okay, uh, hemoglobin and iron and all of this component. So, blue rubin is the one component that is produced as a, uh, we say, um, as a byproduct or whatever. Like, if, if something is recycled, if I want to recycle something, if I have the old pens, so I open it each and every part, okay? So, now each and every part is have a value, okay? If I, I have an old uh, PC, computer, and it, if it's CD-ROM got uh, like, no, if it's motherboard got damaged. So what I can do, I can uh, take out its CD-ROM because it, it, it is working fine. Then I can take out its uh, different other parts. I, its RAM is working fine. Its ROM is working fine. Uh, uh, and its different other uh, components are uh, still working fine. But the, only the motherboard or uh, uh, that circuit got damaged. So I can sell those parts which are working fine. Okay, which are in the good condition and they are working fine. So they were the components of uh, that computer and that I sold them individually. So when a red blood cells break down, so it releases its component, okay? Iron uh, is released, blue ribbon is released, blue verdin is released. Some of the things are converted, okay? So when hemoglobin is broken down, so hemoglobin, when it's broken down, it is broken down into blue ribbon, blue verdin. So blue ribbon comes in the liver and in the bile secretion, okay? So then it is excreted in the ejection in, uh, from the feces. So this is uh, the uh, excretory product, okay? Now, uh, when we discussed uh, the chap... Okay, no, we haven't discussed this chapter yet. Um, uh, we will discuss uh, in our chapter gaseous exchange when we will be studying the chapter lungs. So carbon dioxide is also a excretory product, okay? Carbon dioxide is released as a result of a aerobic respiration okay when uh, glucose in the presence of oxygen and different enzymes is broken down enzymes is broken down into carbon, carbon dioxide, dioxide and water so this is the aerobic respiration we will uh, we will uh, discuss these topics in detail in uh, the gaseous exchange and respiration chapter so this uh, this glucose is metabolized okay in the presence of oxygen and enzymes okay this glucose is basically the formula of glucose is c6h12o6 so this is broken down so if you see here uh, here are uh, co2 and h2o so all of this is basically the a glucose is break down into carbon dioxide and water. So water is evaporated in the form of sweat. Okay, water, uh, if it is being uh, released or produced as a byproduct, so it can excrete out in the form of sweat, uh, in the form of urine, in the form of 
uh, either it can it may get reabsorbed in our body if 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 it is uh, required but carbon dioxide is toxic for our cells it can damage our cells if it persists in our cells so it has to removed immediately so it is removed by lungs okay so lungs um, as the lungs are transporting oxygen so lungs are also uh, diffusing out the carbon dioxide as well so other organ is the skin so skin is basically excreting out the sweat okay the unnecessary water or uh, salts and minerals or anything that is toxic for us because um in our skin like we have hair follicles okay and the, like these are the hair follicles and these contains sweat glands here okay so uh, here a lot of water like uh, there are different uh, tissues different cells are present over here and uh, we know that there are two types of fluids intracellular and extracellular which is present outside the cell or present in the interstitial spaces of the tissues so this is the extracellular fluid so sometimes this extracellular fluid contains some kind of like ions minerals salts which are like uh, immediately which needs to be removed and they are toxic so along with the sweat along with the sweat they all are excreted out so sweat contain the water and salts so they all these things are excreted out from the uh, sweat so now uh, uh, clear any question no miss thank you okay so now okay uh, now the basic unit of excretion basic main organ that we have to discuss and we will be going to discuss is the kidney okay because these are the toxic substances we know these are the main excretory uh, products but besides that there are some other things okay there are some proteins there are some ions like potassium sodium then we have different kind of um, different kind of uh, things okay so those are excreted in our urine okay that uh, that are filter out by the our blood is filter out uh, through the kidney with the help of kidney so kidney perform these tasks they filter out the blood and they produce the urine and urine is uh, expelled out from the urethra so kidney is uh, has so many functions so excretion is its one of the main function okay it has so many functions kidney has uh we will discuss that what are those functions uh the basic unit of kidney is nephron okay so nephron is the basic unit of kidney like uh we have the basic unit cell okay cell is the basic unit of life and uh if we talk about elements so if in chemistry if we are talking about the element so atom is the basic unit smallest unit of element uh then we have uh, like a smallest unit means that is performing the same function as the larger unit is uh, is performing so uh, the ex uh, the basic unit of excretion is the nephron so if in mcqs or in the query if it, it is asked what is the basic unit of excretion okay they will not say the uh, kidney but they can ask you in the way that basic unit of excretion 
So what is the basic unit of excretion? They can give you in the theory as well, and they can even provide you with the options in the MCQs. So you can write nephron. Okay. They can even Miss, are nephron like cells? Uh, they are not cells. They are tubules. Okay. They are not cells. And neither they are the tissues, but they are tubule-like structures. Okay. They are, uh, you can say them uh, because they are the unit. You can say them the cell, but they are not cells. Okay. They are in the tubular form. Uh, they have a tube-like structure, so they are not uh, eligible to be said as the cell because uh, nephron also contains the cell, okay? So nephron is also made up of cells, so we can say it's a tissue, okay? It, it may come in the category of the tissue or uh, because it is performing the as the same function as the kidney is performing. Okay, now... Uh, what are the major parts of the kidney? Okay, if I, um, like you should know the basic or the important parts of the kidney. So what it can be. So if we just write over it here. So kidney has six important parts. Okay, so we will just go through with each part. But uh, I'm just writing them. So one is the cortex. Second one is the pelvis. Third is the renal vein. Fourth is the renal artery. Okay. Renal is the word that defines the kidney. Okay. Renal is for the kidney. So renal, uh, uh, so sometimes uh, if it, it's about the pelvis, so we can also say it renal pelvis. We can say renal cortex, renal medulla, okay? We can put uh, these words as well. So the fifth part is medulla and then the last part is the sixth part is the ureter, okay? These are the six basic parts of a kidney. And if we now dig down or if we now uh, look at that, what are the basic parts, then what are the basic parts of the nephron? If these are the basic parts of a kidney, so how, what are the basic parts of a nephron? So nephron has five basic parts okay so one is the proximal tubules and i told you that it's a tubular structure okay it, it consists of tubules distal tubules okay proximal and distal uh, means uh, like if you stretch your arm and uh, stretch your arm okay so the tip of your finger is the distal part the thing which is away away from you so that is the distal and the proximal is the shoulder that is attached with your body okay so that is the proximal part so this uh, it is the near part and it is the away part so immediately after uh, like okay i will explain in the structure when i will draw the structure so there are two kinds of tubes in the nephron one are the proximal which are near and one are the distal which are slightly away so remember uh, this uh, difference between proximal and distal with the example of your hand okay stretch your arm okay in the straight direction and uh, and the part that is your shoulder part okay if you st are stretching your hand so this part is the distal okay 
because this is away from your face okay this is away from your face and this part that is attached with your shoulder uh, shoulder or with your body so this is the proximal part clear yes miss okay okay now the third part is the baumins capsule you guys can write the names okay we will discuss each and everything uh, with the help of our diagram as well and the loop of hanel okay some people uh, pronounce it as loop of 